Yes, Happy New Year, nearly. It's so good to see you all here having a little drink. I hope you had a good, very peaceful holiday season. I was happy to get my two little sisters around the same table for the first time in a long time. Guys, we can talk about it now. They fell out, they fell out over the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, the vaccine mandates, all the lockdowns in Canada. And you know, we, we have to, looking back in, in hindsight, say we turned into a bunch of snitches. Didn't we? <laughs> we just, uh, hello, Linda. There's an extra person at my cousin's funeral. Fuck off. You know, like, <laughs> never turn your back on your friend, your neighbor, your own family. I remember a time when you could shake good hands, walk away friends, even if you disagreed. And I never snitch on anyone. There's a saying on the London underground, see it, say it, salt it. I have a very similar saying. See it and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not a very unlikely advocate for anti-vaxxers, but certain characters should have stayed out of it. If Matt Hancock told me to stay hydrated, I'd be like, oh shit, what's up, prick, put in the water. And I would start brushing my teeth with Fanta. Get anyone else to give us medical news. Anyone, get Molly May to roll out the pretty little vaccine. I don't care. We've all got the 24 hours in the day, the sign to get the vaccine, I don't care. Now, my sisters weren't speaking because they disagreed, so I have two sisters. I love them both very much. There's Carrie, my favorite, and Joanne, who we don't like. <laughs> Joanne lives in the mountains of Western Canada. Her nearest neighbors are bears. She was always more likely to get rabies than COVID. <laughs> Joanne is 35 and otherwise healthy, but she is vaxxed to the max. She was isolating. Joanne would take a vaccine for testicular cancer if it was offered to her. <laughs> And that's fine. I respect everyone's right to keep themselves and their community safe how they want. But Joanne wouldn't speak to Carrie uh, because Carrie uh, feels that there, there might have been a group of people who were trying to sneak a chip into her body <laughs> so that they could follow her very boring life <laughs> that she publishes to social media for free. <laughs> and that is the more exciting sister to talk to. <laughs> I love Carrie very much. My only problem with Carrie is that she has breast implants. And guys, we're friends. I have breast implants. So I can tell you that all breast implants have a unique serial number written on them. But you never hear a conspiracy theorist glamour model in your damn life. Not one has ever been like, oh my god, Tracy. I think he's chipped my tits by. No, I'm not joking, Bill Gates is single now, innit? Eh? <laughs> try, try see every time I take my top off my Microsoft Office updates. <laughs> I think he's tracking me twice. <laughs> but that would be the more exciting person to talk to. I don't judge is what I'm saying. Uh, how can I? I'm pregnant again. <laughs> Just happy it's not yours, don't. <laughs> I'm pregnant all the time, but who can blame me with the amount that Pete Davidson is in the news? <laughs> Ladies, have you seen this? Man, it is unstoppable. He's been rumored to be with Kim Kardashian, Kate Beckinsale, formerly, now dating Emily Ratajkowski, allegedly. He's dated Ariana Grande. And people are like, how does this guy do it? Like, he's a comedian, he's very famous, he's funny, but what? how's he getting these totally hot women? Could it be his 10-inch penis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> Which is a lot more impressive here in the UK on the metric system. That is 25 centimeters. <laughs> Pardon me? We're talking about a quarter meter dick. <laughs> That's like a small owl. It's, it's the length of an Android tablet. Good luck posting it. It will not fit in a standard size envelope. I'm trying to better myself. 2023, I have a New Year's resolution. That resolution is to get a hobby. Have you ever asked a working mother what her hobbies are? You will see shame and panic across her face. Like, hobby? Well, well, sometimes when I'm rushing past the cupboard to grab kitchen roll because someone's been sick on the dog, I treat myself to a spoonful of Nutella. Mm. <laughs> That's my hobby. Sometimes I go to the toilet alone. That's my hobby. 
Men have hobbies, don't you lads? Men have hobbies, and a lot of people have accused me of hating men in the past. I didn't know any of you well enough to hate you. I'm married now. You can't hate a man until you love one. <laughs> now I know how loud you snore, like you're announcing to the house, is anyone else asleep? <laughs> My husband has a hobby. He uh, makes space in his life for leisure activities. My husband golfs, like Donald Trump golfs. It's nice that they can have similar interests. Uh, I mean, I get it. Golf is very good exercise, good for the mental health, but it takes a special kind of dickhead to have a five-hour hobby. <laughs> five hours, sir, really? That's more than I sleep. <laughs> Five hours is more than my daughter's screen time allowance. I thought this man loved me until winter came and he continued to golf. <laughs> oh, what would I like to do on my day off? Oh, quality time with my children? No thanks, I'd rather catch RSV stood in the freezing rain for the length of time it takes to drive from London to Carlisle. <laughs> How boring could I possibly be? We've only been married a short time. I still suck him off enthusiastically. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. And he's ambling around outdoors in a hostile climate with a bag of sticks like a shit bear grills. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got 18 holes. It's just the three. <laughs> to spend time with me. I suppose I could find, make them more challenging by adding obstacles, a sand trap. <laughs> Invite his friends over for a game of scramble. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny to me because in the car today, I asked my husband loads of golf questions on the way here, like, what's a scramble? So he had a hand in uh, writing those lovely jokes about how golf makes him a prick. <laughs> Well, guys, I gotta continue growing all these babies. You know, unlike Nick Cannon, I cannot impregnate 12 Instagram models in a fortnight. So I wish you a very happy new year. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you soon. Catherine Wang, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Jonathan. I still suck him off enthusiastically. <laughs>